I stumble through the wreckage, rusted from the rain. There's nothing left to salvage, no one left to blame. Among the broken mirrors, I don't look the same. I'm rusted from the rain. I'm rusted from the rain. You listen to Spartan Youth Radio. I'm Gary Duquette. And I'm Nicole Sago, and we're been <laughs> That's and cool. we're live on location in Sudbury with members of the Juno winning Pat and Billy Talent. Woo-hoo. Could you introduce yourselves, guys? My name is John. My name is Ben. My name is Aaron. <laughs> and Ian's going to be here in five, four, <laughs> three, two. Oh, no. <laughs> perfect. Be here soon. Thank you. Thanks for allowing us to come down here and interview you. Yeah. You're welcome. Our pleasure for taking the Thank time. You. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Okay. The band wasn't originally called Billy Talent. Why the name change? Well, we had some uh, legal problems with another band from America that had the same name as us, uh, as us prior. Uh, so they threatened to sue. We said, we have no money and we're very poor. So you keep it and we'll change it. And the name was terrible. <laughs> and the name was bad as well. Yeah. We only discovered that later. Okay, you guys have some serious talent. How did you guys learn how to play? How did you learn how to play, John? Well, I just sat in my basement and played bass until I learned how to play it. Over and over. I was originally a drummer and then kicked out of the band so Aaron could join, and then I was demoted to singing somehow. First time I saw Ben playing drums, I thought, I can do that, and I just started playing drums. (laughs) (laughs) I can do that and better. (laughs) But you know what? Individual talent is one thing, a band is another. How'd you guys meet to create Billy Talent? We met on lavalife.com under the uh, well hung. No, uh, just when it was mid. Yeah, yeah. No, we met in high school, and John, uh, myself, and Aaron were in one band, and then we uh, threw a coup and left that band, and then uh, we met Ian. And Ian was by far the best guitar player in the school, and now one of the best guitar players in the country, I would say. Uh, but he, um, we met him backstage and we were just like, do you want to play music together? He's like, sure. And then we met him, we went to his mom's basement, hey. and sure enough, he hey. appears. <laughs> just talking about that. Yeah, giving you, giving you some praise, giving you some praise. Uh, yeah, and that was 17 years ago. You guys, you guys are a major inspiration to many, you know, who is your inspiration as teens? Ian? Uh... Songwriter-wise, I guess like Leonard Cohen, Tom Waits, Neil Young. Um, band-wise, The Clash, Led Zeppelin, The Drive. And, you know, mine was Rage Against the Machine. Big influence. Rage, Nirvana, Pearl Jam. Rambo, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Steven Seagal, Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris Delta, Delta, any Delta Force film. The whole A team cast. Yeah. <laughs> the whole face of <laughs> The new CD that came out is awesome. We both own it, and how did the famous Brendan O'Brien contribute to making a bit? Well, well, he was the producer. Yeah. So with that role, um, you know, you kind of try and bring the best out of the musicians and try and help their songs become even better than, than you know, the way they are before uh, you start working with them and stuff like that. So... He, uh, we had a really good time working with him, and we think we, we made a pretty awesome record. So. Now, how'd you cross paths? We just sent him three songs, and he called us within like four or five days. Yeah. I said, hey. Yeah, really. He, he really liked the demos and helps pack right away. And That's some awesome talent, talent, eh? Yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool. Yeah. It was super weird. Okay, when writing songs, does it come from past experiences or everyday life? I guess a bit of both. Hybrid? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you draw on your own experiences and others ex- around you and their experiences. I'm honestly a firm believer now, working, you know, when Ian and I work on the lyrics and stuff like that, is that the melody usually dictates the story before the story's even told. Yeah. Yeah, when you, it, when you have a melody and it, it kind of lends a certain feeling, then you almost feel inclined to write something that really fits what that melody's saying. Musically. Dead can't testify to the good. Dead can't testify to the good. 
What song or video do you think is the best you ever made your masterpiece? River Below is a, is a great video. I'd say try honestly because it showed yeah. who we were first. And it was shot really nice and yeah, it was, uh, it was nice. And then Headley ripped us off with that video. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. The new Veronica videos. Yeah, and Veronica. Veronica. yeah. That would I, be my top three. I just seen that the other week there and I loved it. I downloaded everything. Awesome. Hey, you guys are on a huge tour. Do you guys get tired of being on the road? Yeah, sometimes you do, of course. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of wear and tear, a lot of travel, but uh, the thing with this tour is that all the bands and all the people on the tour are so friendly and amazing and uh, inspiring. So to hang out with everyone and just you, know, you laugh and you have fun and it makes your days go by faster. Well, how is it like being famous? You know, has it changed you or are you just the same way you were in high school? Makes my chest bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think you. Well, we, like I, I don't consciously think I'm famous when I go out and stuff like that. So, I think we're we're all pretty down to earth and we're the same guys we were in high school. But, but when you do go out, people recognize you and they'll be like, "Hey!" Yeah. And then you kind of realize, "Oh wait, yeah, I am in, in a big band." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? My friend wanted me to ask you. Um, how do you get your hair that way, man? The uh, it's hairspray and a blow dryer. Wow. He he just loves it. He wants to get it that way too. Man. If you could go back to the beginning, is there anything you'd do over? Nope. Nope, I like the way everything worked. We had to work hard to get it, and that's important. You have to take your, uh, pay your dues in life. University of Rock. Nine years. <laughs> U of R. U of R. U of R. Well, before we let you guys go, uh, is there any questions we missed? You know, do you want to tell us anything? Uh, yeah, no, I guess we're good, but thank you very much, and I uh, know you guys, you know, it's your first interviews, right? Yeah. So good work, and yeah, continue success, yeah. and keep it up. Okay. Hopefully it will uh, pay off in the long run for you. <laughs> okay, thanks guys for giving us and SYR an awesome interview, and the opportunity to hang with you. Our pleasure, thank okay. you very much. Thank good you. job, guys, good job. Yeah.